decided that the table is not flat enough and it's got this ugly white stuff on top of it. So you can see the straight edge is pretty good sized gaps. A cup won't even sit on it very flat. It's just not adequate for a good table. So we're gonna polish it up. So we'll rough grind the surface off with this this cup wheel so I like to get the kind that have a curve to them like this because if you get the kind that are just in a straight line sometimes there's two rows two rows the better but if you can get the ones that have a curve to it because it'll help your table to stay more flat you got to get the ones with holes in it to help it stay cool while you're grinding I use a Makita, there's the model number, it's a 7 inch grinder. Okay, so we're going to start with this heavy grinder, it doesn't really have a grip, it's just a heavy grinder to grind off the rough spots. And then we're going to move to this grinding wheel, it is a 100 grit. It's also got the curved blade so that the it'll keep everything flat so that's a hundred grit wheel this is a backer pad just to hold these other pads just bolts right onto the grinder so then you got the 50 grit I'll leave the pack in the description below so that you can get the exact same one if you want I'll leave I'll leave this one in there and that blade as well so we got these, this is the 50 grit. I'm gonna flip these over so you can see the other side of them. And then you got the 100 grit, that's the next step. And then you got the 200 grit. Flip it over. You've got the 400 grit. You got the 800 grit. You got the 1500 grit. You got the 3000 grit. 10,000 grit. So those are the steps we're going to take to polish this table up. thing down ground down a little ways you can see this little ridge right here these grooves have been pretty deep this one's really deep I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that one out but all these can come out some of these just keep going deeper and deeper so I'll leave some of them certain rocks will just do that it'll be nice and smooth <laughs>
that bigger hole fixed. Okay, our next step is this 100 grit cup wheel. Okay, our next step is 50 grit. Here's the backer pad. You'll see little rocks get stuck in there. Sometimes you have to clean those, but then scratch the table. Okay, we wiped off the dust. Let's see if you can see the sheen. Hopefully the sun is making it so you can actually see it. But it's pretty smooth, even at 50 grit. So that's the 50 grit stage. Our next will be 100 grit. So we'll put that on the grinding wheel and head out. I'll show you the wear on this. Hardly even did, hardly did anything to it. It's just, it got a rock in there and kind of scratched a little bit here. But this pad will do a lot of stone, so these pads are fairly durable. I don't, I don't really like how the rocks get caught in there, but it's probably just this particular stone that's doing it. But it's a nice pad. I started to just kind of lean the, the grinder kind of like this and just use this part right here because the rocks kept getting caught and swirling when I'd use the whole pad. So I started to lean it like this. Worked a lot better. Okay, we're done with 100 grit and we are ready for our 200 grit. So now we are ready for our 400 grit. So we're ready for our 800 grit. Okay, we got the 800 grit done. It's pretty smooth. Still a couple of flaws. It'll look good from my house. So we're ready to do the 1500 grit. So it went from 800 to 1500 in the packet that they sent. So here's the 3000 pad, we'll sand it down with that. This is our final grit, 10,000 grit. Got done buffing it with the sponge pad. 
we just took a regular old sponge and just took it right to the hook and loop on the orbital. This is kind of what I did to it. But it gave it a nice, nice sheen. Shine it right up.